Hey everyone, my name is Chelsea, and today is the first day of Halloween. Okay, technically, I'm filming this a couple days early, but it is the first day when I post this. So you're watching it. It's the first day of October, so happy Halloween. So today I'm starting off my month-long video adventure, posting a video every single day, and today's video is going to be a book review. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Dead House by Don Kurtigich. This is going to be a spoiler free review so don't worry if you haven't read this book yet. So this book is a horror YA book. Something I've never really read. This is my short review. It is fun, mysterious, and scary. Perfect for Halloween time. If you are thinking about reading this type of book, do it. It's great. It had all of the good aspects that you want to see in a horror movie or a horror book. It had, you know, witchcraft elements, ghosts, paranormal stuff, demons, possession, psychological horror, everything that I love in a horror story. So, to put it shortly, it's about two girls living in one body, or as the inside cover says, Carly gets the day. Caitlin has the night. They consider each other sisters, but Carly, who is the main girl, is diagnosed with, I don't know how to say that word, hold on, dissociative identity disorder, which is where you have multiple personalities. And according to the doctors, Caitlin, which is the girl that this book is more focused around, is an alter, or the only alter, of Carly's. That is a really neat premise. It starts off, she's in a mental hospital, and then she is deemed well enough to go into a school, and this is all after Carly's parents died. She is kind of having to deal with it, and the doctors think that Caitlin is a result of that, and the two girls can only communicate through notes because Carly only lives during the day, and Caitlin only lives during the night, which... That idea is so neat. Basically, they start seeing weird things at school. Caitlin starts hearing the voice and seeing this creepy girl. It reads like a typical teen boarding school horror movie, but like so much better. Like it has all the basic premises, but to be in a book form, the format that it's in is just exquisite. This whole book is written in pieces of evidence. It starts off with a newspaper article. You start off reading a book like this and it's like breaking down the mystery. It's straightforward facts and I was just instantly pulled in. The story is based around the Johnson incident which is the girl's last name and it's this incident that happens and the entire book like slowly unveils the evidence leading up to that. It's told exclusively through Things like police interviews, Caitlin's diary, Carly's friend, Nada, who videotapes the entire thing. It's kind of like transcribed newspaper bits through the notes the girls pass to each other. Some of it is based solely in facts and some of it is Caitlin herself. So it's got such a good variety of different voices and that is what makes it so mysterious and interesting and hooks you from the beginning because you want to find out what the heck happened? I really appreciated the format of this book. It was done so well. That storytelling, great. I've never read a book like this and I just... It has the right amount of scary and mystery to it. Caitlin is such a great character because she's relatable to a certain extent. To me, she seemed like the embodiment of teen angst. Definitely the way that I was in high school, not that I had two personalities, but having this side that's more like, okay, I have to go to school and do all this, and then the side that's like, screw all of this crap. I hate it. I don't know. I was a little crazy myself when I was younger. I mean, I still am, but just the relatability of it is so important in teen books. She's relatable enough that you want to care about her and you're interested in her, but it, she's also like really kind of off the wall, a little twisted, so that makes it a bit creepy. Some of the things that you find out later in the book, like, literally made my stomach drop. Like, I got that feeling. There were just these, like, crazy things that you find out about her that leave you so shocked, and because she has that crazy aspect to her, they're still believable. There's a couple plot twists in this book. The first one, 
is perfect. I love it. It is literally like you get to that point and you can't even believe it. Incredible, honestly incredible. The second plot twist was a lot more predictable as someone who has read and watched horror movies and and books and movies in general where it's always the character that you least expect and I don't know if that was a spoiler or not but that was one of the only flaws to this book was a bit predictable. Another thing was the form of like witchcraft that the author created called Mala which is based off of the author's own experiences with different cultures and religious beliefs and it's kind of like the witchcraft aspect of this book. It was a really nice aspect to the story. My only fault with that would be that it, it was almost a little bit too much. I feel like if it had been a little bit more based around the psychological aspect and less on the witchcraft aspect, I think it just would have kicked it up a little bit. But I do really appreciate that the author took the time and created her own religious craft and made it really believable. And I really hope that it'll show up in some of her other books in the future. I think that would be a really cool link to this book. Obviously, I recommend this book. Great for Halloween, great for anyone who likes horror. It's scary, but it's not too scary. I definitely would call this a creepy book. It's like watching a horror movie, but better. You're right there, you know? You're in the character's head. I cannot wait to read more of this author's books because horror done well is so great. So that is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you've read this book and what you thought about it. And let me know if you have any recommendations for horror books similar to this one. Subscribe if you would like to see more of me reviewing books and being weird. And I will see you tomorrow on the second day of Vlogween. Bye! Bye!